What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if your first time here. I have uploaded nearly 300 videos to this YouTube channel. And when you upload that many videos, it becomes difficult to come up with new, interesting, and useful topics to make videos about. And today I was trying to come up with a good video topic to make a video here for you all. And I was whacking my mind trying to think of something I hadn't already covered. And it just hit me. I haven't covered identifying edible plants. I've mentioned it a couple of times in different videos, but I never have had a, a video that was actually dedicated to identifying those type of plants. You know, plants that grow in your yard, plants that grow in the forest that you can pick and eat. And I hadn't covered that topic. Like I said, I've talked about it just a couple of times in a couple of videos before where I've talked about acorns and cattails. I've covered those a few times and talked about those because, you know, just about everyone knows what acorns look like and cattails look like. And those grow pretty a lot of different places here in the United States. However, I hadn't really talked about how to identify other edible plants. And while having a book can work pretty well, you can also get these uh, decks of playing cards that has the pictures of the plants, the name of the plant, uh, precautions about looking like plants and things like that. I have a deck of cards that's like that I've had since I was probably about 16 years old. I had the deck of cards. And I've got a few books that are really good. However, you know, some of the books you buy will have like black and white line drawings and those are completely useless. Do not try to identify edible plants with those type of illustrations. You want color photographs and preferably several photographs of different parts of the plant at different angles to help identify that plant. However, now guys, we're getting into more modern times and there's more ways of learning how to identify these plants than just looking at a book or a deck of those plant identification cards. Now we have cell phones and they, make, they have apps now that you can download on your cell phone. Some are paid apps and some might be free apps, I don't know. I've not looked into a lot of different ones actually. However, there's a lot of different apps that you can download on your phone and you just take a photograph of the plant you want to have identified and it will come back and tell you the name of that plant and a lot of different things about that plant. So it's pretty easy to just use your cell phone and walk around your yard, walk around the forest and take photographs of different plants that you're interested in and then the apps will tell you what that plant is and different things about that plant. We'll test it out here in a minute. I've not tried a lot of these different apps. The one I'm using right now is called Picture This and it says uh, you can get a, a paid version of this. I think it's $29 a year and it works extremely well, I found. We'll take the phone, we'll try to focus the camera on the phone while the phone is focusing on the plant and we'll put this app to the test and see how well it works. Okay guys, we'll start here with this clover. We'll take the app, if we can work this out where it will be visible through the phone and the app and our camera, everything working together here. Just take the picture and then red clover, as you can see, it comes up with what it actually is and tells lookalikes and everything. Okay, guys, let's try this plant. Canadian lettuce. Curly dog. Hold on, bud. Curly dog. Calling dandelion. Well, guys, you can see the app is accurate. It's quick, it's accurate, and it's definitely recommended. If you're a prepper and you want to learn about edible wild plants, you don't learn how to identify those, then I suggest you get a good book and one of these apps. You can do a search. Like I said, the one I'm using is the only one I've tried. I've not tried different ones. Some might be better than that one. Some might be cheaper, some might be free. Just do a little research and download one of those apps on your phone and start learning to identify 
those edible wild plants because you never know when you're going to have to fall back on those and you can also use those you know to expand your diet you can also use those to help uh, your food storage last longer you can just like hunting squirrel rabbit pheasant foraging for wild foods if you have a food storage already put back you know how to forage and hunt and trap and identify wild plants you can also use those to make your year supply your year's food store supply last longer so guys it's a good thing to learn how to forage for wild foods and getting one of those apps is definitely recommended if you want the video get a thumbs up guys thanks guys for watching i'm the creek more out here and i'll see you guys next video hopefully